Okay, so before this video starts, I just want to say that I have no issue with anyone that we confront in this video. Um, they're just doing their jobs, although I do get frustrated because I am trying to get the footage that I'm confident will clear not only my girlfriend's name, but the many other people that are being harassed endlessly due to the TikToks that my ex-girlfriend decided to make. I'm just trying to help my girlfriend, you know, I'm just trying to protect her, keep her from constantly being harassed all the time and when i walk in trying to get the one piece of evidence that would clear everything up and i'm told i can't have it by a girl in my and literally the dude that tried to that i had never met it just it doesn't feel right you know it feels like something's going on you know it just doesn't feel right and i i guess i just want to be a hero and i can't be you know and i get that you know you can't control every situation obviously but my god i wish i could control this one right now because i i just i don't know um yeah anyway i don't have any issue with any of these people in the video i was just trying to get that so that i could put an end to this once and for all but <laughs> Asking if I can see the footage so that I can clarify who's lying to me and who's not because I've got one side and I've got the other. No, that's why the security camera footage would come in handy right now. Because my girlfriend is currently being harassed for something she had nothing to do with and it's absolutely unfair. And the security footage, which I'm not being shown for reasons I'm not sure of because everyone else has been shown it. Well, yeah, so clarify. Shown the footage to our residents here. Yes, and okay. involved in the incident. Yes. So, like, my thing is, why do you need to see the footage? I've been getting death threats. I've, my school's been threatened. Which I think you're aware of, but you seem to be ignoring. I'm not aware of any of that. Okay, well, then you should do some research, and then maybe you'd perhaps understand the situation. That you okay, I don't know a little bit better. somebody's trash can getting kicked over is leading to all of this. That's my thing. That's Go my check Gabrielle Moses' so, TikTok account, and then I think you'll quickly understand. But it is the fact that I don't feel safe in my own apartment now. Freaking sucks. You try doing that. But it's like the PD. Okay. And then they will like address an officer and then they can get the footage. So I have to go to the police to get this footage that lasts maybe 10 seconds of a trash can being kicked down. Correct. That my girlfriend is currently being harassed by thousands of people. Right. So you thought it was okay to kick my trash at my door, say all this stuff about me, point out where I live. I want privacy. I don't know you. I find it interesting that the same person that refused to show me the footage when she showed JC the footage, she did not allow JC to record the footage with her phone, despite that exact footage being what was used to find her. Meanwhile, my ex-girlfriend claims to have the footage, so either she is lying or they gave it to her, but not us, which is very, very interesting. So I do have all the security footage. I'm not releasing it because I don't want these girls to be bullied. Because My ex-girlfriend claimed to not release the footage out of privacy concerns. Well, every single person that is associated with that video has agreed to allow the video to go out, so... Nothing's holding you back. I think that any man watching this would understand that when his girlfriend is being attacked for no reason by thousands upon thousands of people by someone that clearly intended for this to happen. And because one of you guys is the roommate of a person seeing my ex, stop. You would do everything you possibly could to defend her and protect her and make her happy or at least keep her from constantly being harassed and just... I don't know. I feel like any point that I needed to make has already been made, but I'm sure after seeing the length of this video, you're realizing that this is still gonna, it's gonna take a minute to thoroughly explain everything. So I hope that you're enjoying this because I sure as hell have not. We don't condone bullying. We are supposed to build each other up, not break each other down. And because one of you guys is the roommate of a person seeing my ex, stop. How would you feel if you saw that someone that you love more than anything and i mean that oh my god was just being attacked by so many people that she's never met they'll never meet her <laughs> but yet they're so convinced that she's this monster and jc is by far one of the sweetest nicest people i've ever met and to see how easy it is to convince so many people of something so I mean, imagine, imagine going and trying to get something that will quickly clear your girlfriend's name and all of her friends of all this harassment, and then you're told no. 
by someone that's friends with the person that caused it and she acts like she has no idea what's going on and then right next to him is the guy that that's like some shit out of a movie i don't know how anyone would handle that and i mean she said it herself this is all over a trash can being kicked which is the irony is hilarious I just want her to be left alone. I really do. I, that's all I want. And this isn't an attempt to discredit my ex's feelings. You know, you're allowed to feel the way you do. You're allowed to think the way you think or feel or, you know, whatever. You're allowed to have emotions. That's not what I'm suggesting. I'm simply suggesting that maybe we shouldn't direct so many people towards someone that had nothing to do with anything. And it's funny because I know for a fact that people are going to see this video and they're going to be, like, surprised. Like, it's shocking to see someone react to this situation that way. Like, they wouldn't expect that. Like, every other creator that goes through this doesn't do this exact same thing. They're just too afraid to make it a video. <laughs> I, w I want you to think of every... Anything that's ever happened to any creator you've ever seen that ended up being bullshit. And I want you to think about how long they spent just in the room acting like I am now, if not worse. That was literally me for months. When when I first introduced JC, it has become quite clear that once again, JC is being used by my ex-girlfriend as a tool to gain sympathy and attention in the short term at the expense of JC's mental health and well-being. Again, JC had nothing to do with this at all. When this happened, JC and I were watching movies eating ice cream. JC didn't ask anyone to do this. She didn't suggest anyone do this. She didn't want anyone to do this. JC had absolutely nothing to do with this. Understand that when you are an influencer with such a large following talking about such a touchy subject for both yourself, the other party, and the people consuming the content, you know exactly what you're doing. Your words have intent. You are thinking for the third or fourth time about everything that you are saying. And if you're not, that's extremely irresponsible. Responsible, but either way, you understand that your words have consequences. Bringing up JC was not an accident. It has never been an accident. If you were to watch my ex-girlfriend's TikToks, which I'm sure most of you did, you would assume that someone walked up to her front door, crucified a goat, and wrote her name in blood. Fortunately, that didn't happen. So please stop targeting me, harassing me. You would also assume that they gathered around a campfire, sang campfire songs, and talked shit on her. That also didn't happen. You'd also assume that it was targeted and that she's currently fearing for her life and doesn't feel safe at her apartment because she Li just literally said that now look no one likes for their property to be kicked obviously it's extremely disrespectful I don't condone that activity I've apologized to my ex directly I, I don't know how much more I need to elaborate on that it's obvious that kicking someone's property is not okay that's mean and you definitely deserve to face some kind of consequence being exposed to two plus million people for something that you didn't do is probably not the proper consequence. Does not make it okay to gang up on one person who literally can't even defend themselves. First off, both parties know the girl that kicked the poor innocent trash can. We all went to high school together. So you thought it was okay to kick my trash at my door, say all this stuff about me, point out where I live, I want privacy, I don't know you. She's not in my sister's sorority, nor does she have anything to do with my sister's sorority. She just happened to be hanging around girls that are in my sister's sorority, and those girls had nothing to do with this. They didn't tell her to kick the trash can. I literally, again, don't know you. Just because you are all in the same sorority does not make it okay to gang up on one person who literally can't even defend themselves. She kicked an empty trash can after kicking other people's trash cans. Targeting me. We have another trash can. Is that stupid? Is that childish? Would I condone that? No, of course not. I think that's stupid and I thank God every day and night that I've never been that bored. But still, it wasn't targeted given that multiple trash cans were kicked and there was no trash that went anywhere and the trash can was certainly not drop kicked. There was no gossip or shit talking happening outside of her apartment given that the amount of time they spent in front of the apartment was a maximum of 10 seconds and they also never even stopped walking when passing the apartment which they have to in order to leave the apartment. 
apartment complex. One girl points at Gabrielle's apartment, pointing out that that is the famous YouTuber in town, and then the other girl proceeds to kick it. There was no shit talking. Once again, they did not gather around the campfire and sing a campfire song talking shit. So they're walking down the hall, kicking trash cans, being stupid, and then they eventually find Gabrielle's apartment. They then kick that trash can and then run off like pussies, okay? It really wasn't that flattering. Despite both parties knowing damn well that JC had no involvement, she was still fined by my ex and then sent thousands upon thousands of hate comments. For those of you that still somehow for the fifth time don't think that this is intentional, you are a dumbass. She kicked the trash can at approximately 9.04 and within minutes, as the security camera footage shows, my ex peeked her head out, went back inside, and within 30 minutes we had a bunch of TikToks of her crying and fearing for her life and claiming to be harassed and bullied and targeted. Now, at the time I saw these, I assumed they were true, so I did apologize to her, like I said. The next day, they went to my ex's apartment to apologize. Now, whether or not this was because they were receiving death threats and two plus million people have heard about the diabolical act that they had committed, or at the bottom of their hearts, they just couldn't sleep that night over what they had done, I don't know. I want you to try to consider thinking about something that you've done that didn't necessarily hurt anyone or affect anything, but you're not proud of it, and you definitely wouldn't admit to it in public. Now, whatever story or image just popped into your head, I want you to magnify that by a thousand, portray that in the most negative way possible in front of millions of people, both on TikTok, social media, and locally. That would probably suck, right? Especially when you don't have a platform to defend yourself and the other party knows that damn well and they continue to use that to their advantage. Does not make it okay to gang up on one person who literally can't even defend themselves. That would suck. When they tried to apologize, my ex-girlfriend was not home. They ended up giving a guy their phone number, said call or text us, and that she would be back home at 5 o'clock. 5 o'clock comes around. She does not call or text or make any attempt to solve this reasonably. Now, just because they did try to apologize does not in any way, shape, or form mean that my ex-girlfriend has to accept their apology. No one likes for their property to be messed with, kicked, disrespected by any means, and if anyone ever does that to anyone, they should face the consequences. I'm only pointing out the obvious, and that is that no one is fearing for their safety in that apartment, and if anyone should be, it should certainly be the person receiving a death threats for something they had nothing to do with. People are telling JC that she needs to control her friends, and I see this as totally unfair given that, like I've already said, she had absolutely nothing to do with this. She didn't tell anyone to do this. She didn't suggest anyone do this. Nor would she ever want anyone to do this anyways because JC is smart enough to know that my ex would blow it out of proportion and cause a wave of 13-year-old savages that spent way too much time watching Jake Paul when their mom gave him the iPad. Holy shit. Some people have suggested that because I dated her for so long, I should be protecting her. And while I agree to an extent, I don't know her anymore. Matter of fact, while we dated, I didn't even know her, and I have found that out the hard way. I now have a current girlfriend whom I love more than anything and see a future with, and I'm going to prioritize protecting her, given that she continues to be the victim of something that she had absolutely nothing to do with over and over and over again. I want a t-shirt that says, us against my ex and his innocent girlfriend that never had anything to do with anything malicious towards me, yet I still continue to use her as a tool for attention and sympathy for the fifth time, and thank God I have a 13-year-old audience that falls for it every time. <gasps> I don't know who kicks trash cans for fun. I never would, once again, never would condone that. That's stupid and pretty embarrassing if I'm being totally honest, but at the end of the day, JC nor I had anything to do with it, and if we did, trust me, you know, because I assure you, there's plenty of people trying to figure out how this can possibly be our fault, and I assure you, once again, it's not, and I also assure you that the footage will never come out because it would make my ex-girlfriend look like a total liar. And we also have been told that we can't even use it anyways. Both JC and the other girl that's being absolutely destroyed on social media right now have both made attempts to try to get the footage, yet a girl affiliated with my ex is not allowing us to do so. I want to tell you two stories real quick. The first one is the time I had a massive condom that made me extremely insecure about myself given that that would never fit on my cock, lodged in between my window and window seal of my truck. Now, there's a catch. The condom was filled with a massive amount of uncomfortable cooked chicken liver. Now, I don't know about you, but I had never seen uncooked chicken liver in my life. I assumed it was body parts. I literally assumed someone had been murdered. I was like, mom, did they get you? What's going on? Now, when that happened, I assure you I was upset for about 15, 30 seconds. Then I realized how hilarious it is that someone literally took the time to pack a condom full of chicken liver and lodge it in between my truck. 
But I assure you, the last thing I ever thought to do was cry and hop on TikTok and then suggest that it was my ex-girlfriend's doing. Now, another story that is actually far more serious and far worse than having your trash can kicked was the time I was out and about swinging it left and right and all of a sudden... The next day, I found out that they were affiliated with not only my ex-girlfriend, but also the girl that would not allow us to use the security footage for our videos to prove our innocence. How convenient. Either way, when both of those incidents occurred, I never once even remotely considered hopping on TikTok land and crying about it. Not only that, implying that it was my ex-girlfriend's doing, despite the fact that they are certainly affiliated with all of them. This whole situation has made me realize two things. One, I genuinely wonder how much of the content I consume on social media is just complete and utter bullshit. It's also made me realize that this YouTube thing might not be for me anymore. I might not be cut out for this anymore. When I started YouTube when I was literally 11, it was the most beautiful and exciting thing I think I'd ever heard of. I mean, I just couldn't believe it that you could make funny, entertaining videos and people would eventually find them and then decide whether or not to support you. I mean, I just thought that that was the most beautiful, most incredible thing ever and I knew that that's what I wanted to do because I had never been good at anything else. This was what I wanted to do, bottom of my heart, no doubt about it. Fast forward to 2021 and it's not like that at all. It's pretty much the majority of people doing this are in it for the money or the attention and don't get me wrong, I love making money and I used to love attention. But at this point, it really just is not for me. And also, just in case anyone thinks I farted, that was actually my candle. And I'm kind of weirded out by that noise right now. But either... Did it just wink at me? I don't know. Anyways, um, it's just not the same. It really isn't. And I could never imagine being the type of person to make a video bawling my eyes out over such a... I'm not trying to discredit... The situation it sucks no one likes their trash can to be kicked but to make it this incredibly massive ordeal portray that as such to millions of people knowing that thousands of people are going to directly attack someone that had nothing to do with it and feel nothing about it continue about my day as if nothing happened I mean what the hell people what the hell like that's normal. And I feel awful that I've put my girlfriend, whom I love more than anything, in such a vulnerable position no matter what she does or does not do. It's really messing us up. Yeah, I think I've said everything I need to say, so...